Hello YouTube, welcome to another video tutorial on Linux module programming. In this video, we'll be discussing how to write a character device driver inside of Linux. First off, let's talk about the different types of device drivers you can write in Linux. There are two main types. There is the character device driver and there's a block device driver. The difference between the two is that a character device driver writes and reads character by character to the device and from the device. And it operates in a blocking mode whereby when the user writes information to the device, the user must wait for the device to be finished being written to before continuing execution of the user code. So therefore, if you want to write to your device that's plugged into your computer and that process, you're writing a lot of information to that device, you have to wait. You have no choice but to wait for the entire number of bytes to be written before you can do anything else with your code. So that's what uh, blocking mode means and that's what, and it's another word for it is uh, synchronous a synchronous mode of operation and also character device drivers are the most common type of device drivers that you find moving on to block devices their main difference is that they write information to and f and read information from the device in a block so uh, it reads large numbers of information uh, in large chunks and as a result it's very CPU intensive and it takes some amount of time to finish its uh, operations and so because of these uh, factors block device drivers are in a synchron uh, asynchronous mode and as a result the user doesn't need to wait for the operation of reading or writing information to the device to be completed before the user can continue doing anything else so those are the main differences well in this video series, we'll be focusing on device, character device drivers. Let's talk about the overall process involved in creating a device driver. Step number one really is to make a device file. This device file is going to be how the user is going to access the physical device all the way in kernel space. Remember that the user can never enter kernel space. So the only way they can talk to the device driver is by having a file called a device file for which they can open, close, and read information to, uh, read information from, and write information to. So like I said, the first step is to create a device file. And let's do that real quick. Uh, it's real simple to make a device file. First thing you want to do is open up a terminal and go to the dev directory okay once you're in the dev directory you can list all the files inside of the directory all these are devices attached to the computer these are your uh, serial ports your usb is um, inside of the bus like i said these are all device files and let's take a look at ls tt zero tty zero now this information says that this is a character type of a this is a character type device and it's able to be read to and written to at the same time this particular device file has a major number of four and a minor number of zero this is to say that in the kernel there is a device driver whose major number is 4 and with respect to that device driver there it organizes and differentiate all these types of um, the TTY device files each of them have a, a minor number that's different so with respect to that device driver it can discriminate and say okay well I'm working with TTYO as opposed to TTY2 and so to create your device file that's going to be attached to the device driver you're writing, it, you simply do something like you to say make mock the directory is going to be always in your dev directory slash the name of your device file type of 
device file you want B for blocking or C for character type. We're going to choose character type. And now you're going to supply the major number and then the minor number. The major number needs to be something unique and different from anything else that's already in the kernel. Otherwise, there will be conflicts. So just pick a unique number. I'm picking 900. And then press enter. And uh, rightfully so, this should be done as super user. So you just want to go ahead and copy this. Become super user. Type the command again. And successfully, you just created a device file. And so that's your device file that we just created. And if we go ahead and say ls-l mine, we can see that it is a type of, it's a character device file, and it has a major number of 900 and has a minor number of 1. Now again, the significance of, the, of a device file is that it's going to be tied directly to the device driver that you're going to write. And that device driver is going to be responsible for communicating with the device. So overall, the process is that the user is going to open a device file, which in turn invokes your device driver and, that, and your device driver will then talk to the physical device. Okay, join me in the next tutorial and we actually get into some code. Um, like always, please rate this video and give me some feedback. Till next time, thank you.